we're working on this sprinter the injectors have been changed um so no matter how hard you try it will not turn on it will just keep doing this and over and over again it will not start so with mercedes what you need to do is code them in so what we'll do we'll code it in using the hotel machine um hopefully i'll pair it up and then once paired up i'll code it in one by one and i'll show you how it's done if you're using hotel you'll have to go into you can sometimes it brings it on the hot functions but i very much doubt it um but it's best to go into the uh, scan bit and then take it from there because it will automatically set up the engine and then you'll just go into it from the engine section the on the it doesn't bring it on the hot functions as i said but sometimes it does you, you may be lucky so if you come back at this go into diagnosis And then it'll bring the next option in. So you've now can... got control unit or auto scan. I would select auto scan. You can go into it that way, but it will give you like five or six different engine types, and it's quite difficult to pinpoint with it being quite a bit slow. Uh, by the time you've done the auto scan, you're already there, whereas that will take a, a bit longer. So we'll let it do uh, a full scan. I won't let it complete every single module. I just want the engine to be done, and then once it's done, I'll pause it and then go into it that way. So here it is. So it's done it. I'll just press pause and then go into it that way. It brings it. There we go. <clears throat> and then it'll give you a few different functions. I'll even uh, read the fault codes to see what's on there. Um, probably say injectors not coded or something like that fault code it doesn't bring anything to do with injectors but i know it's to do with injectors because they've been changed um they're all fine because that's all to do with the front bit taken off um anyways if we um come back out of this um so once you're on the page again you go into control unit adaptions um and then teaching processes and then it will give you these options um up to you what you're after if you're dpf uh, if you've changed anything on the vehicle like we have um, on this one, it needs to be that one there, and then you've got all these other options. I'll just flick through so you know what else is there. Um, you've got all these, but the one that we need is this one here. Injector, injection quantity adjustment. So we'll just click on that one, and then it will give us a bit of... Yeah, that's fair enough. Just telling, telling us the ins and outs. We'll continue. And then it'll give us the old injector codings and stuff in a second here it is so these are the old injectors there's none of these on there now i mean if i go around for example let's just go around um so number one as you can see there i don't know if well you can't really see it ends in 3087 and none of these are 3087 so that's number one there so yeah we'll change them I will change the coding one by one and to do it you just kind of let's start off with number one you just click that and then it tells you to manually input it here so we'll just click there and then delete everything we'll just delete everything here and then cylinder one I'll um, input it and then I'll start the recording again for the others as well so now uh, I have input it my bad sorry it starts from here and ends in here 310 uh, 310 um so yeah we'll we'll then continue yeah, now we have um i did everything in so my bad it says uh, 310 ends in not not that other number um so a310 so i'm happy you then press um if we come out of this go not do anything so f1 it'll take a less than a minute or so and then continue so now the first one has been changed so s7 so as we said a310 if it's incorrect if any of them are incorrect it will not like it. it will just bounce back out and say it'll just come up with the error code or not save it at all so that's how you know you've gone wrong 
so we'll go into cylinder two and the same we'll do them one by one and once they're all in i'll show you the next step so we've done the second one in so f1 and then press continue continue Yeah, and in said, yep, that's it. So that's all right. It's liked it. So we're going to cylinder three. So we've done the third one now. And in W Y Z. And in W Y Z. So it's only the fourth one left. This one which is the very last one. So let's just come down a bit. Click on to fourth. There we are. Delete it all and then. So that's the last one ends in TYZ. Press continue. And then hopefully after this, um, we'll go crank the vehicle over, but sometimes it doesn't start instantly. It'll take a few shots and then it registers it with it sending the fuel system in the correct way so everything's fine by me um exit injector let's exit that as you can see everything's now safe if any of them were wrong in any way you would it would have never saved so completed exit so yeah moment of truth we come back on here there you go all turns on with a click um so yeah everything's fine now no issues um we'll fit all that back on and the uh, jobs are good and really